Hi, my name is Philip Brymeyer and this is my water project 1B. So to start off, my objectives were identifying a sub watershed and finding the area, finding the intensity of the zone where the watershed resides and finding the peak discharge of the sub watershed. So to start off, my original watershed was in Ithaca, Nebraska in Saunders County. I chose this area because I have family living up there. And I wanted a relation to my original DM that got my watershed. My preliminary sub watershed delimination is just choosing a watershed that looked all right. This is a good uh, network of channels and it's about the right area at 149 acres using my eyes. Um, next, I delineated, I delineated the sub watershed using the upslope area using an outlet point. Um, this shrunk the preliminary area um, by like about 20 acres and I noticed there was not enough channels, which caused me to run the channels and basins program again with a more sensitive stream threshold. Um, so to calculate the area for, of the sub watershed, I used the attribute table, table expression for area, but that gave it in square meters. So then I did another expression which did the square meter area calculations, but then I multiplied it by the conversion to acres. As you can see, um, it's about 500,000 square meters and 125 acres. So next I'm finding the elevation for curve pitch equation. I will also find length in the next slide, um, but to do that, I decided that the farthest point was the bottom left. And then I used the identify tool and found the elevation of the bottom left corner, um, which is about 397. And then the outlet point elevation to the right, um, again, with the identify tool is about 373, both in meters. Um, then I used the uh, new sensitive channel and basins pro running and got um, a good amount of channels so that I followed one of the channels as close as I could get to the farthest point. As you can see, it does not reach all the way there, but it is very close. And so I interpolated um, straight to the farthest point. I uh, assumed that there won't be much um, movement. Um, if there is, it should average out to be about just a straight line. Um, that comes out to about um, 1,162 meters in length. Uh, using both the elevation and length, I found the slope. So using the difference in elevation divided by the length found, I get about a 2% slope in the area. Um, then I plug that into Kerpich's equation um, using a constant of 0 0.0195, simply because I am using uh, meters as my unit. Um, this gets my time of concentration to 20.15 minutes. Um, but we round to 20 minutes because the IDF curve has uh, integer lines for the intensities. So then I we have my IDF curve, which I found by going to the NDOT drainage design and erosion control manual, finding that Saunders County is in zone C of Nebraska, then scrolling down to the zone C IDF curve using the rainfall intensity versus return period. And then the project wanted a 10 year return period rainfall intensity. So I used the 10 year return period, um, we followed it up to the 20 minute IDF curve. And then that gives me about a rainfall intensity of about 4.67 inches an hour. Um, with that rainfall intensity, I can then use the rational method, but first I have to find a C value. To do this, I put a satellite view underlay using quick map services and QGIS to find what was underneath my sub watershed. Um, looking at the satellite photo, I deemed it to be cultivated land. Um, and then with a slope of 2%, that would make it flat cultivated land, meaning that the C value was 0 0.36. Then using the C value, the rainfall intensity and area all found in the project, we multiply them all together to get peak discharge of 209.785 cubic feet per second. In conclusion, um, our objectives were to find the area, which was 125 acres. Um, the time of concentration is 20 minutes. The rainfall intensity is 4.67 inches an hour in that area. And then the peak discharge of my sub watershed at 210 
cubic feet per second. Um, the only citation I have is the roadway design manual that I use to find the IDF curves. Thank you very much.